I had hoped to start this video with a successful installation on Windows 11. However, there have been a couple of issues on our Odroid Ultra machine. I did get Windows 11 installed, but I was unable initially to get the Ethernet connection to work. As you can see from the screen we're on, it's currently showing us as being offline. As is normal with any of these incidents, you go through the usual fault finding procedures. Is the Ethernet cable faulty? Is the port on the router faulty? Even getting a Windows 11 installation completed without an internet connection can be a bit of an adventure. When you get to the point on your Windows 11 installation, it will prompt to connect a network cable. This was a point when I realised that something was amiss. There was no internet connection, despite the fact I was working on a known good cable on a known good port on the router. However, you can bypass this by hitting the Shift and F10 keys on your keyboard. This will bring up a Windows command prompt. Then by typing in OOBE slash bypass NRO into the command prompt. This will disable the need for an internet connection and allow you to continue. This allowed me to complete the installation of Windows itself. Then came the task of working out why wasn't it connecting. Once you are in Windows, if you hold down the Windows key and press X. This will give you a series of options coming up. What we're interested in is the Device Manager. The Device Manager will report where there are missing drivers. And we are indeed missing the driver for the Ethernet controller. The computer I'm using at the moment is the Odroid H4, the base model with no SATA ports. I'm going to use the same technique I used to restore the Ethernet connection on the Odroid Ultra. It was at this point where I made an assumption. The assumption I made was that the Ethernet ports were Realtek, as they were on the H3 models. However, having checked Odroid's website, I discovered that on the H4 model, they had replaced Realtek with Intel. So the Ethernet ports are Intel ones and not Realtek's. Therefore, the drivers need to be Intel. It's unfortunate the Windows install didn't pick up this and install the driver for us, as I certainly didn't have this kind of problem with the H3 or the H2 models. So the next task was to find where on Intel's website these drivers could be located. So I'm making this video for those of you who come across this problem, to save you the time investigating what needs to get done. On Intel's website, there is a package you can download which contains a complete list of all Intel's drivers for all operating systems. This is of course a very large file. However, what we are interested in is one particular folder, a Pro 2500 folder, WinX64, W11 or Windows 11. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anywhere on Intel's website to download just that specific driver so I had to download the full package. So this is the folder we are interested in. We merely have to replace the Ethernet controller drivers with the drivers in here. This can be done by clicking on the other devices, right clicking on Ethernet controller and clicking update driver. And we're going to browse my computer for drivers. And having selected those, we click Next, and this will install the drivers. And as you will see, we now have an Intel Ethernet controller on the list. And we now have a connection to the internet via our router and Ethernet cable. As the H4 base model only has a single Ethernet port, there is only one entry for the Ethernet controller. For the H4 Plus and the H4 Ultra, you'll have to do this procedure twice once for each of the controllers. Now that we have our internet reconnected, we can now browse online. And one of my next tasks is to see if I can fix the other remaining devices which are showing up in the device manager as having some issue. For the H3 Odroids, I could do this by downloading the chipset from Intel. However, I've tried the current chipset from Intel and that does not appear to fix these. So 
as obviously something still outstanding. However, hopefully this video will have saved you some time and effort in actually getting your Ethernet connections working on the Odroid H4 series. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.